Hey guys, it's Dana with Fabulous Style and I have a thrift haul video for you. The last few days I've been doing a lot of thrifting, so I have a lot of stuff. So I'll just get started. Um, something I found last week, and these are so cool. These actually fit me. I love these shoes and I was so excited to find them. They were a little bit dirty, but they washed up really well. These are Stuart Weitzman. Um, I don't know, like an athletic or just a really casual loafer. They're suede on the toe. Um, this is just a detail. And then this part of it is like that stretchy, it's kind of stretchy. And I have wide feet, so these fit wonderfully. They're actually like a size bigger than what I wear. Yeah, they're a nine, but they, they still fit. They still hold onto the back of my foot. So, um, I love those. I was really excited to find them because I'm always looking for just plain black shoes to wear for casual. Um, yesterday I found this briefcase that my husband wants. <laughs> um, it's, it was, it's brand new. It has the tags still attached to it but it is if there's some scuffs on it this this is Kenneth Cole reaction and this part right here is kind of worn away right there and then there's some wear kind of on the corners and a scuff on the bottom but other than that it's in great shape it it came with the shoulder strap that's still inside it was $19.99. Oh, those shoes were $8.99, but they were half off. So I think I paid $4.50 for them. And so this was $19.99. I went ahead and got it because my husband's been wanting a leather briefcase. And they're super expensive. I looked this up, and I think it sold originally for around $140. So um, I thought $20 wasn't too bad. Um, this is a... K, hey, oh, what is it? The brand Unger, K Unger dress. Um, this was also half off. It's really thick. It's a knit dress, but it's really thick knit. And it's just really pretty like apple green color. Um, I might, I mean, it's obviously more of a spring summer dress, but I put it on the mannequin just to show it. And it was $14.99, but it was half off, so I paid $7.50 for this. Um, I'll start over here. That Also that same day, I found this Josie Notori dress. And this is, it's a wrap dress. It ties on the inside, but there's nothing to hold <laughs> this part over here. So I'm debating on whether I should just add a little hook and eye to it myself or just sell it this way. I'm thinking this is why this was donated because you know there's not you still need something to hold this the front section over here. The tie isn't necessarily going to hold it in place, but it's got the tie kind of runs through the fabric in the back. So I'm sure this is a very flattering dress. It's size small. Um, I think dresses are $5.99 at St. Vincent de Paul. So that's what I paid for that, I believe. Uh, this little sweater I bought because it's just so adorable. This is, it's half, it's 55% silk, 45% cashmere. So that was one reason why I bought it. I love the little star, which looking at it from the side, some of these are, have some loose threads. But the, um, the sleeves are really cool. They're, I don't know, the way it's got this little crisscross thing. And then here it has a little heart and then the tag there. This is called Twisted Heart. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't seem to sell for a huge amount, but I thought since it's cashmere, that will also help to sell it. So, and who doesn't love a sparkly heart? And this I bought, I've actually never seen a Carhartt women's like just button up jacket thing. This is a just a knit um, hoodie. It's a hooded button front jacket. 
and uh, they do seem to sell really well. I love Carhartt stuff. This does have like the roll up thing where you can um, button it and keep the sleeves short. It's just a really cute little jacket. It's a size large and it was $5.99 so I bought that. And I ended up finding just in the regular dresses even though they have a maternity area. This was half off. Um, it's a maternity dress. I don't normally buy maternity stuff, but it's an extra large motherhood. And I just thought it was so cute. I love the pattern on it, so I'll save that for next summer. And it um, was $3.50, so I thought that was a good deal. And then this dress, I was so excited about it. I have it hanging on a, on a dress form, on my other dress form. I'll just hold this up. This is a Marc Jacobs dress. And it, it's got this kind of interesting crossover thing in the back. I have no idea what this dress is called. I couldn't find it specifically. Um, and it's like a below the knee dress. Um, probably won't be able to show the bottom, but um, it has like a little ruffled collar here and some uh, smocking <laughs> and then buttons down the front, which it is missing two of the buttons. It has, I did find one button inside here. So, and they're, they're black satin covered buttons. So I think I'll go through all of my buttons. I save all my buttons from things I've purchased. So I might have a black satin covered button in there and I'll just have to put in my listing that it's um, that it has a replacement button but it's got satin a satin border on the bottom of the dress so anyway I don't know if you're able to see it but it's got kind of a cool um, bottom it's a size small I think even though it fits pretty you know pretty big on my mannequin um, so yeah save that for summer and then where do I start over here Move that. I found this um, Under Armour um, oh, it's like a gym bag but it's got a shoulder strap it's they had I think it was $6.99. This is still selling on the Under Armour website, so I went and found the stock photos, and um, it's just, it's got really, really great reviews. It's just nylon, but it is waterproof, because it had like some white little marks, like from hitting against a wall, and I they came right off, and then when I went to wash it with water, it just, the water just beat it up and fell right off of it, so Oh, I'm sure I will sell this, even though this is a really nice um, bag, like a gym bag. This is, I, I thought about keeping it, so we'll see. But um, I was excited to find that because it's a really cute bag. Um, ooh, this does not want to stay on a hanger. This is one of those Irish boiled wool um, coats. It has a hood it's almost kind of like a cape style I know it's one button right here but that's it and this is I don't even know how to say this care Caregden. it's from Ireland there's the tag and I don't know if I found a size tag I think oh it's a size medium boiled wool and I paid $12 for this one and then I also found this it's also size medium Cole Haan quilted long coat this one was $15 and um, yeah it zips and snaps up the front Cole Haan, I looked it up. Their coats sell pretty well, so I was excited to find this. And quilted kind of puffer jackets, I suppose, are still in style. Yesterday when I was at Goodwill, on their, like, you know, ad thing that they play in between all the music, they said puffer jackets are in style this year. <laughs> 
if you can trust the the man who makes the Goodwill videos. Um, I picked this up because my daughter's name starts with a K. <laughs> but if she doesn't like this, it's a Fiona Lang um, little, I don't know what should, if it's like a little clutch purse or if you'd put your makeup in here or what. But it's leather and then it's got this shiny kind of leather stuff. So we'll see if she likes that. Then I also, <laughs> I was just quite intrigued by this. There's no brand in it, but I believe this is like a man, a purse, one of those man, you know, like a, a crossbody bag that a man um, would typically wear, you know, use, I guess. It has, it's just really cool. It's made out of really nice kind of unfinished leather, but it has little, you know, pockets for gadgets and whatnot, and it has, a couple different sections inside. It actually on this side has a holder of some sort, almost like you could fit, I mean, it was like a knife or something in there. So I don't know. I don't know what this is actually for. There is something stamped here, but I cannot figure out what it says. This looks like it's in, looks like it's the number in, in, uh, in and a three. But I, I have no idea what this, oh, what it says, but it's just kind of cool, the closure on it, and it's a nice crossbody bag. I mean, it's got, it doesn't have much wear at all. It's just cool, and um, so I picked it up. I think this was, obviously, I picked it up. I'm going to try not to say that. $7.99? I think it was, I think it was $7.99. Although I can't imagine I actually paid that much. I think it was $7.99 and then it was 25% off. So it seems like everything I bought that day, if it was, it, had, it was like a percentage off, if it wasn't just the regular price of, you know, like they have all dresses are one price and all, but such, certain things they price separately. Uh, yesterday, I found these People versus West. Uh, men's jeans and I'd never heard of this brand so I had to look it up but these were $9.99 but they seem to sell really well and they're they are they do seem to be like a really they're a thick you know heavy jean and looks like they were um, folded under and more a little bit of wear right there so they must be really long as long maybe like a late 34 length or something there are 34 waist that's all it says in here so uh, we'll see how I do on those uh, this bag I bought I buy this I think this was half off last week at um, a St. Vincent what's in here oh yeah so this is a, a perlina bag super super soft if you like or know perlina their bags are so soft and so it's just a pretty basic it has like a separate section inside um, just a pretty basic bag with lots of pockets lots of organizing and it's got you know a strap that's I like this length strap where it goes over your arm, but yet if you want to carry it down low, it's not so long that it would touch the floor. So this is, I will try to sell this, but it is super soft and the corners have hardly any wear. So nice bag there. And then oh, off the dollar rack yesterday, bought a bunch of dollar things. These are Vince Camuto. Just brown, skinny leg, little trousers. Um, just to try to get a bunch of stuff listed. Thought I'd throw all these up. These must be, these are a size five Levi's. They're skinny jeans. They might be super skinnies. Um, no, it says they're straight, actually. But they're a size five. They're teeny tiny. And, uh, but they're just so, so, so incredibly soft. These are so soft. <laughs> so, 
Uh, I'll list those. These are oh a pair. I didn't. I haven't looked these up. They just look like they're probably a nicer brand. Lubin, L-O-U-B-E-N, and you know with this kind of a papery tag, I figured these they kind of almost look like they maybe went. They came as a suit with something, but they're size 16, I believe. Just no waistband dress pant with a straight leg. So, and this skirt is so cute. There's no size tag in this. I think it's probably about a size 10. It's, I don't know if that's condor, condor, um, but it has like, you can put a belt with it. It's just a straight long skirt, but in the back it has the little pleating and I thought that was really cute. Um, this would be so nice, I think, with a pair of boots because it would, the boots, I don't know, would just really show off the pleats. And this is another pair. Oh, these are the J. Peterman Company. I don't know. They're 100% wool. They're lined just trousers, so, you know, like women's. Oh, no, they're not. <laughs> they look like trousers from the top. This is a long skirt. These are the ones that I think would look amazing with a pair of brown riding boots because they kind of remind me of like a skirt that you would see a woman in the Wild West <laughs> wearing when she was riding a horse. Um, but it has like a pleat in the back. And then it has the pleat in the front with also the slit, the walk slit down there. So this, this is a beautiful skirt. So um, we'll see about this. And it's a 16, so it's a little bit bigger size, but it doesn't fit like a 16. I think the waistband to me seems more like a 12, but I haven't I measured it or anything. Uh, then, so those were all in the dollar rack yesterday. Uh, this, I kind of went on a roll with the maternity dresses. This was also half off, so I went ahead and got it. Uh, $3.50. It's a motherhood maternity dress, but it's just really plain, but it's a beautiful color, this eggplant purple. So, you know, really easy to wear. So I'll list that, because that's kind of a color you could wear year round, but really in the winter. Um, then I also found this small size small dress. It's 41 Hawthorne. I ha had never heard of this brand either. Looked it up and it's got this really pretty waistband. Just a knit dress. Nice little scoop neck. It's just nice and cute. And then I have, I actually really like this brand, but I was watching a video um, a YouTuber, I think her name is Hazel Hearts Vintage. Um, she was saying that she picks up every piece of Victoria's Secret Country. Um, and I've never tried to sell these pieces. I've actually, I love just the white cotton nightgowns that they used to make. So this isn't one I would normally buy. So I don't, I'm not really a fan of flannel nightgowns. They get too hot in the night. Um, but this is an extra small, but it's actually quite roomy, and it's like a night shirt um, flannel. So I should list that right away because it's perfect for winter. Um, another thing I picked up just for myself because these were half off is drawer organizers. And they're those kind of like slotted where they, you know, you can cut this and make your own drawer organizer like however you want. And some shoes. Yesterday I bought these. I waited till they were half off. Oh, I didn't realize I paid $8.50 for these. I didn't. <laughs> huh. I, I, I saw that they were going to be half off, so I went back yesterday because it was Tuesday, and that's when the new tag color. So, and I didn't even look at the price. I just grabbed them. But these are, they're Giorgio Armani. Um, little mules. They're tiny. They're a six, 36 and a half. So they're either a size six or six and a half. But they're just, I don't know, they're out of that same fabric that like a gross grain ribbon is out of. Kind of like a 
microfiber in a way, but they have just a knotted detail. I don't know. To me, these would be more like something you wear around the house or something. I don't know. I mean, they have a leather bottom. You can wear them outside, but they're just, they're really, they're cute little shoes. $8.50. I paid for these. Um, and they do, Giorgio Armani shoes do sell well. They have a really nice leather insole. Um, so hopefully with that size, it won't take me forever to sell them. I bought these because the got two pair of shoes. I'd never heard of the brand, but they're nice. These shoes always look weird, the ones with the elastic on the edges until you put them on. <laughs> um... But this is a really cool pair. Uh, I don't know. This is S T A C C A T O Staccato. Uh, they're an Italian shoe. They have a patent leather heel. This is suede, and then this bow detail is so cool. It has like gold metal, um, like kind of bars in between the the bow. These were eight ninety nine, and I had seen them when they were first you know, put out in $8.99. I didn't buy them, but they were half off, so $4.50. Bought these on Monday when they were just about to not be half off anymore. And then another pair of shoes. I had never heard of this brand, but they were half off, so I thought I'd give them a try. These are <laughs> like shoots. I don't know. It's SC... S-C-H-U-T-Z. And on the back, they even have the little, this is metal, um, leather, origin, Brazil. These are a size 6B. They're also um, kind of a kitten heel with suede and then a patent leather bow there. And they just have a tiny bit of wear. They were, let's say $18.99. Oh, they were $19. Okay. These I remember seeing when they were $19.99. Um, these were half off. So I paid $10 for them, but they do, um, sell pretty well. So cute winter shoes. Then the rest of my items are back here. This is, I, I've heard of this brand. Um, Oh, that girl from Australia that does thrift haul videos, Steal the Spotlight. She's always talking about Boohoo, <laughs> but I have no idea if it's an expensive brand or not, but this has had tag the tag still on it, this Boohoo jacket. I can't, I found one that was brown that sold for around $40. This, I think this was $6.99. Um, I bought it yesterday. It's, on here it says it's, bonded chuck on coat <laughs> harper bonded chuck on coat but it's like that almost like that neoprene um which i think must be really popular right now because they use it all the time on um project runway but it's just a really cool coat this actually reminds me a little bit of the coats that the girl who's the blonde girl on project runway right now <laughs> Those coats that she's always making that are kind of modern looking, but so I picked that up. <laughs> and this is a Vince, kind of a short top with this kind of drapey front. It's a size large and it's got these like bat wing sleeves. So, and it's a really pretty color. It's a dark blue, not a navy. Uh, this one, I, I bought this for myself. Um, this is a Nike dry fit, just like a thick, it was half off. So I bought it for three fifty. Um, just like not quite a sweatshirt, but a real thick cotton. And, oh, this was the dress that, that got me started on buying <laughs> the um, maternity stuff. This was in the regular dresses section and it wasn't, I don't think it was tagged a higher price. So it was just, well, she sold me, I was buying a nightgown and then sh the girl looked up, she obviously doesn't normally cashier. She um, looked up 
the price of nightgowns and it was three ninety nine. So all the so these other two things, she just went ahead. She was like, oh, three ninety nine three times. And I think dresses normally are five ninety nine. So anyway, I got it for three ninety nine. But this is a pee in the pod dress. It's a size large. It's so cute. Which I do want to ask if any of you sell maternity stuff. How do you photograph it? Do you put? I've noticed at um, the motherhood maternity store, just walking by, sometimes they actually put a balloon in some of their. Um, I know they have those false belly mannequins, but I, I think when they run out of them, they just put a balloon in them. So this is cute. It's got this V back. This would be, you know, when you seems like when you're pregnant. There's always one occasion that you have where you need to dress up. So, um, I dress up all the time. So, you know, I would, I would need lots of maternity dresses, or I did back in the day. And um, then I bought this for myself. I love these little thin jackets. Uh, this is from The Loft. And in the summertime, you know, it seems like all the clothes are are um, sleeveless and I don't really like to wear sleeveless stuff so I like to have really thin little jackets just to throw on things until it gets super hot out which you know here in Oregon it doesn't uh, very often but this has you know where you can roll it up and button it and make it into a short sleeve but it's just cute I like the I like the seaming across there or the how this you know, you can kind of cinch it in at the waist if you want to, but it's really super thin and light, so that's what I liked about that. And then I found this kind of mint green. It's a St. John collection. Yeah, four, size 14 skirt. If it wasn't a 14, I probably wouldn't have bought it because it's such an odd color. And if you don't have a top to sell with it, you know, who's, who wants this? Is this Celadon green? It's a really, really pale green. So, um, and then this jacket, I had ran to the Goodwill before work and I have to be at work at 10. So when I got to Goodwill, I only had like maybe 40 minutes at the very most that I could shop. And so I was searching, I was finding nothing. Oh, I actually had only found that the organizer thing. And so I thought, I'm not even, I'm not going to spend $2 on this. I'm just, you know, like take the time to check out. So I was looking through the coats and I didn't find anything. And then I thought I should look up that one coat. So I had passed by this, but this, it's just the softest butter leather I've probably that I've ever felt. But it's, you know, I mean, it's obviously a vintage style with these as leather buttons, but the buttons are all there. And, you know, it looks like it was in some grandma's attic all, you know, bunched up. It's really wrinkled and stuff, but there's really no wear on it, no stains. Um, it's in good condition. And the brand, you won't be able to see it on camera. But it's, well, maybe you can. It's, well, I don't know. It's F-R-I-I-T-A-L-A. I don't even know how to say that. I can barely read the other stuff around it. But these are, they're vintage pieces and they are sought after. People pay, you know, pretty good money. I should be able to sell this for like 70. I paid, oh, I think it was $14.99. No, it was $8.99, which coats, usually they they price a $14.99. So, yeah, this was $8.99, so I grabbed that. I was so glad. You know, it's I hate going to Goodwill and spending time looking, which I obviously didn't spend a whole lot of time. But, you know, and then walking out of there with nothing, which I do quite often. Um, and then the last thing I bought, <laughs> this was kind of an impulse buy. It was in the fabric department, just all, you know, folded up over a hanger. And this is actually a, it's a teepee for a little, like for a little girl's room slumber party. But it has this Paris print on it. 
butterflies and Paris Eiffel Tower thing. And then it's, well, it's kind of cut off, but it's got like a little cafe print with a little dog there. So my first thought, because this is a nice thick canvas fabric, and my first thought was, oh, I could make like a handbag, but I mean, the print is so huge, so I can't make a tote bag out of this unless I, you know, chop up, chop off the scene. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. These teepees new in the, in the box sell, well, most of them sold, there was one that sold for 30 with $30 shipping and then another one that sold for 69 and free shipping. But the, in the box, you know, there were wooden stakes and I don't have those. So to sell it just as is, I could try to do that. I did pay $14.99 for it. Um, or I'm trying to come up with a project for it. Something, it would have to be a project that's tall enough to use the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> so I will continue thinking about that because even if I opened it up, it's so small at the bottom that it would only, you know, be like this wide at the top and then it would go out giant, huge toward the bottom. So I can't, I can't think of a project at the moment, but if you, if you have any ideas, please let me know. Um, cause it's got the same print all the way around, uh, and it's even pretty up here, but you know, you've got, I don't know how it would look to take out these seams and then sew it all together. Probably, you know, with piping, I don't know. So anyway, sometimes you buy things and then you get home and you're like, why on earth, why on earth did I buy that? So that's the last thing. Oh, I did get, I picked this up because I thought it'd be cute to put with my little display here when I take pictures, <laughs> little dress form. I was thinking I could get like a little stand and put it on, but we'll see. I just, it was 49 cents, so I threw it in my cart. And that is the last thing. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And please subscribe and I will see you next time.